while your bit is entering your tubing. Note whether or not you've extended the tube out past the bar enough. If your tube is set at the proper height, your swage won't bottom out on the bar. Another option is the tubing expander kit. The long handles on this tool offer great leverage for expanding soft copper tubing from 3 8 to 1 and 5 8 inch outside diameter. In addition, this tool is excellent for re-rounding deformed tubes and fitting ends. First, outfit the tool with the proper size expander head for your tubing. Next, insert the tubing over the expander bit. Slowly actuate the handles and carefully release the tubing. It's important to use slow, steady movement when operating this tool. Failure to carefully release the tubing may cause personal injury or damage the tool. Also, if you're expanding smaller diameter tubing, such as 3 8 inch, it's a good idea to expand the tubing halfway. Retract the bit, rotate your tubing a quarter turn, and then actuate the handles once again. This tool creates perfect swages on soft copper easily and quickly every time. Using this tool properly and lightly lubricating it from time to time will give you years of great performance. Every application you encounter is bound to require tube bending. Like all the procedures in this video, there are a variety of tubing tools available in this category. And this is one procedure where practice makes perfect. You may want to have several of these tools in your toolbox. They range from the simple spring tube bender to the specialty ratchet hand bender. Each is designed to help you do your work more efficiently no matter what the situation. The spring tube bender has been around for quite some time. Simply slip the proper size spring over your tubing and bend to the desired angle. Remove the spring by twisting it as you pull it off your tubing. The spring tube bender is a fast way to bend tubing from quarter to 7 8 inch outside diameter. It's easy to use and, provided you use the proper diameter spring for your tubing, prevents the tube from collapsing. If the wrong size is used, the tube will collapse. If you ever notice compromises in the spring, such as gaps or a crease, the tool must be replaced. And don't forget to remove it before brazing. Next is a full range heavy duty tube bender for making fast bends up to 180 degrees on quarter, 5 16 and 3 8 inch outside diameters. Although this tool bends multiple diameters, there are individual benders for larger sizes up through 7 8 inch. This tool works by utilizing leverage through actuating two handles. First, Visualize and mark the bend you're going to make. A quality tool will include instructions on how to mark and bend your tube. Next, place your tubing into the bender and slowly apply leverage to the tubing to make your bend. You can make additional bends accordingly until you've met the demands of your installation. Carefully mapping out your necessary bends and the order in which you need to make them will save you time and aggravation. To locate 90 degree bends on this type of bender, mark the center line of the first bend location on the tube. If the dimensioned length is to the left of the zero degree mark, align the bend location mark with the L on the bending handle. Rotate the bending handle until the tube is bent to the 90 degree angle. If the dimension length is to the right of the zero degree mark, then align the bend location mark on the tube with the R on the bending handle. A popular specialty bender is the ratchet tube bender. It's perfect for gaining access to soft copper tubing in tight spaces where it's next to impossible to gain any manual leverage. Start by choosing the desired size bending mandrel. Slide the square hole on the ratchet bar. Now fasten the correctly sized crossbar assembly on the bender body so that the desired size bending shoes are in the same plane as the mandrel. Now, use the wing screw to fasten them together. The bending shoes are marked with the various tube sizes. Rotate until the desired shoe size faces the tube that you'll be bending. Pull the feed lever away from the handle and push the mandrel and ratchet bar back towards the handle. 
Then release the feed lever and you're ready to bend tubing. Put your tubing between the mandrel and bending shoes. Again, make sure the bending shoe and mandrel are matched for size. Squeeze the feed lever a few times to begin the bend. When the bender is in the desired position, continue squeezing the lever until the bend is complete. To remove the tube, pull the feed lever away from the handle. Push the mandrel back toward the handle and take the tubing out. Use the two indexes on top of the mandrel to locate your bends. If the desired bend is to be finished 10 inches from the left end of the tube, locate the 10 inch mark to the right side index and bend. Likewise, if the desired bend is to be 10 inches from the right, locate the 10 inch mark to the left side index and bend. You can accomplish a bend in the opposite direction by mounting the reverse bend adapter to the ratchet tube bender. No matter which direction you're working in, the ratchet tube bender is restricted to a maximum of 90 degrees. When you make a bend with this tool, the distance between bends depends on the diameter of the tubing you're working with. If you have to bend hard copper, first anneal and then cool it prior to bending so the bending mandrel and shoes are not damaged. You'll benefit from having a wide selection of service tools in your toolbox. Let's start with wrenches. There are general wrenches as well as specialty wrenches. From standard ratchet wrenches such as these to specialty ratchet wrenches with offset angles, custom adapters, or larger and more comfortable handles. This particular ratchet style wrench requires only a 5 to 6 degree clearance to actuate its ratchet gear, making it perfect for tight spots. It comes with a dedicated direction of rotation, so you don't have to worry about the reversal mechanism wearing out. There are heavy duty versions of this wrench available, as well as wrenches that have the ability to ratchet in both directions. The knuckle saver is another version of the ratchet wrench, engineered with an offset to help get your knuckles away from obstructions that may cause injury. One of the key accessories for the quarter inch ratchet wrench is a hex key adapter. You can use this adapter to open and close high and low side service valves that have deeply recessed safety sockets. Different size hex keys are available for specific HVAC and R branded equipment. Next, we have pinch-off tools. There are two choices in this category. The first is the pliers type pinch-off tool, fitted with a radius jaw so that it pinches instead of flattens. The other option is the bar style pinch-off tool that not only pinches off, but also re-rounds four different sizes of soft copper tubing. Another handy tool is the refrigerant recovery pliers. Attach an evacuation hose to the outer fitting and this tool provides you with the fastest and easiest way to evacuate refrigerant before disposal of an AC unit. Finally, one of the handiest tools to have on your next HVAC and R job is a fan blade puller. Even the most stubborn fan blade won't have a chance against this heavy duty tool. Remember to tag and lock out the power to the unit you're working on before trying to remove its fan blade. Thank you for taking the time to learn the tips and techniques for using tubing tools properly. We hope it improves your overall workflow and makes your experiences on the job more enjoyable. The tools highlighted in this video are just a handful of the high quality tools and equipment Yellow Jacket offers to HVAC and R professionals. For more information on these and other tools, visit our website at www.yellowjacket.com. We're glad you trust Yellow Jacket to provide you with the tools and training to do your job right. Until next time, good luck and thanks for viewing.